F4Y2 privateer maritime patrol derivative carried on in service with the US Navy in the Korean War. The Liberator originated from a United States Army Air Corps request in 1938 for Consolidated to produce the B-17 under license after company executives including President Reuben Fleet visited the Boeing factory in Seattle, Washington. Consolidated decided instead to submit a more modern design of its own. The defensive armament of the B-24 varied from transport variants which were usually unarmed to bombers armed with up to 10 50 caliber M2 Browning machine guns located in turrets and waist gun positions. The first British Liberators had been ordered by the Anglo-French Purchasing Board in 1940. After the fall of France, the French orders were in most cases transferred to the United Kingdom. The RAF found, as did the US, that global war increased the need for air transports and early type bombers and seaplanes were converted or completed as cargo carriers and transports. LB-30As were assigned to transatlantic flights by RAF Ferry Command between Canada and Presswick, Scotland. The first liberators in British service were XUSAAF YB-24s converted to Liberator GR-1s USAAF designation LB-30A. The aircraft were all modified for logistic use in Montreal. Changes included the removal of all armament provision for passenger seating, a revised cabin oxygen and heating system, ferry commands Atlantic return ferry service, flew civilian ferry pilots who had delivered aircraft to the UK back to North America. The most important role, however, for the first batch of the Liberator GR1s was in service with RAF Coastal Command on anti-submarine patrols in the Battle of the Atlantic. The United States Army Air Forces took delivery of its first B-24 A's in mid-1941. Over the next three years, B-24 squadrons deployed to all theatres of the war. African, European, China, Burma, India, the anti-submarine campaign, the Southwest Pacific Theatre and the Pacific Theatre. In the Pacific, to simplify logistics and to take advantage of its long range, the B-24 and its 